Hello guys, so this past weekend I bought the game uh, Fred and Bread, which is a co-op climbing game with its core game mechanic being that two players are connected to each other uh, and I have been seeing a bunch of Sebastian Lager's coding adventure and a video describing the game mechanics for the game viewfinder. This made me think why the hell not try to recreate the game mechanics from Bread and uh, Fred in Unity, thinking it would be a good exercise and get my gears grinding for what specific game mechanics should be in my game. The first step was getting a simple 2D character controller to work. While creating that, I ended up having an issue where the player would stick to the wall when colliding with it and still moving. After a bit of thinking, I came up with a solution, including a gliding mechanic. So it seems like the character is trying to hold onto the wall, but is gliding down. Having the simple 2D character controller working, it was now time for me to implement the elephant in the room, the co-op mechanic, which makes Brett and Fred such a fun game. For the creating the second player controller, I only needed to implement a way of knowing the difference between which input the player got. I did this simply by having different input access, which is not optimal if you want to deploy the game. But I'm only doing this for testing the game mechanics as, a, and as an exercise, so it should be fine for my purpose. For the connection between two players, I added a spring joint. 2D, the spring joint tries to hold the players together by a set distance. Having this distance be a constant created some weird interactions where the players were able to float in the air, which is obviously not desirable. So I created a method for checking the distance for each player and if they are closer than two units, the distance for the spring joint is set to the current distance between the players. If it is bigger than the distance, uh, it is kept at two units. With this, I created the basic of the mechanics in Bread and Fred, there are still further developments to get the swing motion correct and have the player able to grab onto walls and hold a position in a short period of time. After trying to be implement these mechanics using a spring joint, I realized that it is probably not the way they did it, where they probably made a custom interaction for the connection between the two players. And I thought it was a really great exercise and also got me thinking about what game mechanics I should implement in my own game. But yes, that's pretty much all I got to do, I've just been looking around trying to, to find out how they did it. And I've slowly been thinking about what way, if not it was the Spring Giant 2D, did they do it? But yes, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe.